Hi there Hyundai owners, today in your 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe, we're going to be taking a look at Swagman's XC2 2-Bike Platform Rack. This 2-Bike Platform Rack is going to be great for mountain bikes or larger bikes as well up to a tire width of about 3 inches. So you can put just about anything on here and they do have staggeredness to them so that way you don't have to worry about your handlebars contacting and we have frame contact that holds our bike into place. So this is going to ensure that it stays in there very solid and that our bike's not going to go anywhere. Now because this is a frame contacting bike I don't recommend this for carbon fiber bikes as it could potentially damage the frame due to the vibrations but for any of your mountain bikes and regular road bikes or children's bikes this is going to be a great rack for any of those other bikes. The cradles are also adjustable so you just loosen it up here and you can adjust for the bike whether you've got a smaller children's bike or a larger adult bike and again you can stagger these so that way you don't have to worry about your handlebars contacting one another and I do like how it keeps them very close together so you're not sticking real far off the back of your vehicle like some other bike racks. To remove your bike it's as simple as pressing in on the release lever for the arm. You do have to do the outer one first and then you can do your inner one. Then we just lift our bike off and we're ready to ride. Now that we've got our bike out of the way, oftentimes when you hit the trail you're going to bring a water bottle or maybe some snacks or something with you and we're going to keep that gear in the back of our vehicle. So if we pull the pin here at the bottom we can tip it off to the side and then we can access the back of our vehicle, grab any gear we need whether it's our bike helmet or something to drink, grab it with us and then hit the trail. Now I've got some measurements for you so you can see how you'll live with this at home. The distance from your bumper to the closest point is going to be about here at about nine and a half inches. And from the bumper to our furthest point here it's going to be about 21 and a half inches. And that's important when determining if you're going to fit in your garage with this on, be able to shut the door, things like that. Also want to check our ground clearance here at the back and from the ground to the lowest point at the back we've got about 15 inches of ground clearance. That's also important if you have to drive over a lot of speed bumps or go over a big bump when turning into your driveway whether or not you're going to contact the ground. This rack also has a storage position to minimize the impact of it whether it's going to be sitting in your garage or you're going to leave it here on the back of the vehicle. We can pull the pins, lift up on the arm and then reinsert the pin in the upper position there. And this will make it a smaller footprint inside of your garage or at the back here. Sometimes you do have to lift up on your arms a little bit, it is contacting, so we'll just raise that arm up some and then our pin can go in. And you can see how much smaller it is now. This could easily sit in a corner in your garage and not take up much space. And if you do leave it on the back of your vehicle, if you're walking around in your garage and stuff, you don't have to worry about these arms that were down below hitting on your shins. This bike rack is designed to work with either a two or a one and a quarter inch receiver. It does have a sleeve that comes included with it for two inch hitches. And it also has a bolt that comes included, which is an anti-rattle bolt to secure it to your hitch. And that'll take out any play so you can see how secure our rack is inside of it. That's going to ensure that when we're going down the road, vibrations from potholes and uneven surfaces aren't going to transfer through our hitch into our bikes, rattle them around a whole bunch. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternate speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hanging a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. And that completes our look at Swagman's XC2 2-Bike Platform Rack on our 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe.